Hi guys, welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben, and today we're going to be looking at this Kawasaki ZX 10R. Now, this is a third generation ZX 10. Uh, it's the last of the pure uh, ZX 10s, in my opinion, before they went over to lots of electronic rider aids and traction control and ABS and all the rest of it. This is a 2008 58 plate, so one of the later ones before they did a minor facelift. Um, it's been repainted using the original panels, these are not Chinese panels in the MotoGP Monster Energy colours. These are the colours that were used by the uh, last of the MotoGP uh, races before Kawasaki pulled out around the same sort of year. This is a really nice bike. Um, it's been used, definitely. It's not immaculate, but it's had loads and loads of money spent on it. It's got a really, really high spec this. So if you're looking for something which is, you know, a proper road bike, fully sorted, um, if you wanted to do track days, this bike would be absolutely amazing. So I'll try and do all the extras justice as we go around. So it's done uh, just over 14,000 miles. Um, tires have been swapped out for some Pirelli Diablo Super Coursers. These are a fantastic sticky road tire, um, good for track days as well. No sign that these tires have been on the track. Uh, as you can see, the edges are really, really clean. Uh, they'd normally be all bubbled up if it had been on track. Um, you can see on the bottom of the fork legs there, there are some fork protectors, some crash protectors. You can also see some braided lines, and we believe the suspension has been uprated as well. As we pan up, you can see on the uh, mirror stems, the tiny little indicators here. They are not the standard ones. They've been replaced with smaller ones, which look a lot better in my opinion. And we've got a double bubble tinted screen as well. As we come across, you can see we've got Renfall grips and a Rosetto master cylinder. Um, the Rosetto master cylinders are upwards of £300. Very, very nice bit of kit. Um, great to help stop the bike. The paint on this side of the bike is really nice. There's no major crash damage or any drops or bangs or anything like that at all. There's a couple of little marks on the end of the RNG. Looks like it's just been grazed. But the paint on this side is really nice. All of the decals on the bike have been lacquered in. It's a proper paint job. These are not just stickers that have been flung on the side of the bike. On the back there, you can see we've got a braided line. There's also the HRC uh, master set or brake reservoir, which is this little green thing here. Uh, very popular with um, people looking to build race replicas. Um, and as you can see, we've got an acropovic exhaust and then the little carbon uh, plate just here. On the back, you can see we've got paddock stand lifters and axle protectors as well. As we come up, you can see that we've got a, an aftermarket towel tidy uh, with a slightly smaller plate. We do have an original plate. Um, it's also got a seat cowl, which is color coded to the bike. And we do have the uh, pillion seat as well. Um, and one last thing to point out, we've got uh, RNG engine case protectors and all of the engine uh, on the side here as well. I'll come around to the back. <clears throat> Again, matching super coarser on the back. Really great uh, sticky road tire. Um, relatively new or nearly new. Uh, Renfrew chain and sprockets on the back. Um, it's been up geared for acceleration. Um, not that it needed it. I mean, this is a 186 brake horsepower standard, so they're not slow, but um, but it certainly helps uh, to give the bike an extra kick. Small mark on the swing arm, you can just see here. You know, really, really common on these bikes because of where your heel goes on your boot uh, when you're riding on tippy toes. Um, so a lot of people do replace or cover the swinging arm with carbon covers. Um, and this bike does also have a uh, hugger on the back, which is carbon fiber. Again, matching on this side, you can see we've got RNG uh, engine case protectors and RNG crash protectors. And again, we've got axle protectors on the front, um, on the front forks as well. As we come up on this side, you can see we've got an aftermarket short lever to match the short lever of the Rosetto master cylinder. We've got a new uh, Brembo unit just on the top here. Um, all quality bits. We've also got an adjustable oil in steering dampener. Um, that does actually come with a bike as standard. Got all the keys for the bike, including the red key. It's got this uh, holographic um, LCD display in front of an analog uh, rev counter. And there you can see 15,471 miles. I beg your pardon, I did say it had done uh, just over 14. It's just over 15. Give the bike a start up for you. <laughs>
Certainly not going to miss this coming down the road. So it's a 2008, as I said, it's 15,000 miles. So there are some wear and tear marks. There are some stone pits um, on the belly pan, as you'd expect. Um, some around the front mud guard. There's a few little marks here and there on the bodywork, but there's no massive scratches. There's no cracks. None of the lugs are broken. Um, I would say it's quite clean for a bike of this age and this sort of mileage as well. Um, one thing that we probably will do before the bike goes out is replace these grips. So these are really soft compound Renfrew grips. Um, they're grey and they do get dirty really easily. So we've got a set of standard grips to go on there. Um, other than that, the bike has got lots of service history, lots of receipts. As I said, we've got both the keys. All of our bikes come with a three month warranty, including breakdown cover and roadside assistance. Um, we can offer finance. Uh, we can offer a part exchange facility. Um, and of course, any optional extras that you'd want. Not that you'd want anything on this bike, I don't think. So, free delivery on this bike for the duration of lockdown. Try and take advantage of that while you can. You can reach out to us on Facebook, WhatsApp. We've got live chat on our website and on Auto Trader. And of course, happy for us to have a good old fashioned conversation. That's it for me. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you soon.